Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we've been sent a brand new game from the amazing lewd people, the lewd booper people called Gamazumi, Gamazumi.com, check them out. This is a lewd game called Secure Gamer. Remember guys, if it's lewd, it's rude, and we're in the mood for some nude. Uh, if you're watching me live right now on my Twitch channel, please feel free to look for that heart icon down below, somewhere on your screen. Turn that sucker some color, I think it's pink or blue, or red or whatever it is. Drop me a follow on Twitch, I really do appreciate it. But if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel as a video replay, like and subscribe. Tell you what guys, if you like loot games, or you like booba, which is really boobs. If you like boobs guys, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you don't, then you don't like boobs. Come visit me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. That's Marbley, M-A-R-B-O-O-L-A-Y. I really do appreciate you all. Thank you for the support. Okay, guys, once again, Secure Gamer. Let me tell you what it's about. Uh, brought to us today, once again, by the amazing people at Gamazumi. Gamazumi.com. Check them out. Okay. When she was a young girl, Nico Him dreamed of being a video game developer. She abandoned the dream to focus on her uninspiring job as a computer repair technician. That is, until her childhood friend, Clover, introduced her into a seductive Suki. Suki is determined to turn Nico, Nico Hims, I think I'm pronouncing her name completely wrong, but I'm going with that, Nico. Let's call it Nico. Nico's dream into reality and finally develop a game. And she refused to let Nico self-doubt stop herself. Will they become to make a hit game themselves or together? Or will it be all for naught? Will Nico manage to find love? Game features. It's a visual novel game, multiple endings, and a beautiful anime magnex art. Um, the, it's released for the Nintendo Switch, and as you can clearly see, I'm playing today on the Nintendo Switch OLED model in handheld mode using a separate Dualcon controller. Um, the release date was the 9th of the uh, 9th of May 2023, so a few days from now. Oh, a few days past. Sorry, I do really apologize. Uh, language: the Japanese, English, Spanish, German, and Chinese. So it's a release right now. Hey Jericho, welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I knew you'd pop past the lewd game. Every time I play a lewd game, Jer Jericho is always here. He, he says hi until we get to the naughty bits. Naughty, until we get the girls with the boobs hanging out. And then he goes quiet for some crazy reason. I don't know why. I wonder why that is, Jericho. Enlighten us all. If everyone's watching right now, everyone wants to know why Jericho goes quiet. Hey, Propane, welcome to the stream, my friend. You're another one that keeps popping past my streams when I'm playing lewd games. Well, maybe it's just the times that I do it. Early mornings or late afternoons. I do appreciate you all, though. Um, hey, Tiger Wolf. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's get into it. If you're watching me live, I do appreciate you. Welcome aboard. Let's have a look at preferences. It's all the same. And then once again, gallery. It's all locked, as you can clearly see. There's only 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, pictures don't rock. Let's get into it. Now, I do apologize in advance for the, my mispronunciation of people's names or words or completely entirely everything else, but let's get into it. Okay, I think I've seen enough boobs to last me a lifetime. Well, I tell you what, guys, straight off the bat, I could never see enough boobs. The more boobs, the, be the merrier. It's booba. It's booba. Honestly, when I started to work at a computer get up, computer repair technician, I never knew it would involve, involve quite such a large amount of staring at naked women. <laughs> People look up porn on the internet and it stuffs their computer and they've got to, re you know, every time you look at bad sites, you always get a virus and you got to take it to a, uh, you know what I'm talking about. I don't even want to stare at naked women. Why would I want to have, a, have Clover? Sadly, the jobs I get fall into the three categories. I'm outlining them for you, for your ease and convenience. Category 1. People who think they can uh, use their CD drives as drink holders. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Category 2. People who haven't realized most issues with their electronics can be sol uh, solved by turning them off and on again. Category 3. People, who, people whose children, typically male, but there were always exceptions. Have downloaded large amounts of porn from shady websites on the family computer, thus giving them viruses. Exactly what I was speaking about. We know those types. That's you, isn't it, Jericho? <laughs> uh, today, I had to work a handful of jobs that fell into the third category. 
Uh, Jericho replies on Twitch live Twitch uh, chat. Indeed it is. <laughs> Many times. It was awful. There were pop-ups everywhere. I've seen enough digital image of breasts and genitals slashed across computer screens to last me a lifetime. It's so awkward too, especially when the poor embarrassed mothers of these porn obsessed children hang out in the backyard wringing, uh, wringing their hands, averting their eyes and apologizing. Who wants to look at porn with women in their 40s? Especially when their porn sometimes involves women in their 40s. That's always fun. And by fun, I mean horrible. In time, uh, these haired mothers usually... St Is this it haired? Haired mothers usually start falling off typical social 90s as they will escape their uncomfortable situations. Uh, the housewife comes in. Excuse me, miss. Do you want a cup of tea? Then they retreat to their kitchens while I stress over their malware-infested PCs to potter about the infectious and spend hours brewing a single cup of green tea. It was never served slowly in a restaurant or cafe, I'd complain. When I'm on the clock, however, I welcome the absence of clients whole and heartily. It's hard to focus when somebody else is watching you, especially when there's so much porn. I don't get paid enough to deal with it all. At least, I usually get a cup of green tea out of it. A cup of green tea that, when I finally receive it, is already stone cold. And to think, I only started studying computers because once upon a time I wanted to be a game designer. Those dreams have, de uh, have, sorry, blah, blah, blah. Those dreams have been destroyed now. Destroyed by the menacing spectre of adulthood. Okay, we got an image. I saw it heavily and I walked down the street. It's getting dark already. The night is crisp and cool against my skin. At least it helps me uh, calm my head. The wind toys with my hair, making it flutter. The helm of my jacket twitches. I glance upwards and I brush a few loose stands on the, hint, uh, on the hair behind my ear. The sky, whoops, that was too quick. The sky is filled with stars. The stars are small, like tiny pinheads, and they twinkle brightly. Pretty. But I don't have enough time to stand around the street, contemplating. I'm tired, hungry, and most importantly of all, I want to take a shower. Across the street, my house isn't too far away. It's a pretty nice house, all things considered. Especially for a recent college graduate, it's not a mansion, but it's stretched by the imagination. But it is three bedrooms, a bodily large kitchen, and a garden. I guess I'm doing I'm I'm not doing too badly for myself. Sometimes, after a busy day at work, I start obsessing over the negatives. But my life is pretty comfortable, all things considered. Okay, so we've got like a, what do we call it? A bit of a booba hanging out of there. She's wearing some sort of jacket with ears, like um, horns, kind of. She's got like, like white hair, but we'll call it like, uh, what do you call it? Ice blonde. She's kind of got like ice blonde hair. I think it's more, it looks white, but we'll go, we'll go with platinum blonde or ice blonde, whatever you want to call it. I'm not too sure what they call it these days. I open the front door and close it behind me if it's slammed. The lights are all turned on. I guess Clover is still awake. Well, that goes without saying, she doesn't go to bed until 3 or 4 in the morning during the summer. She always has a video game on or two, or 20, to work through, especially those she couldn't get around to playing during the school term. It's nice to know she's so easy going. Some things never change. I sigh and slide off my shoes. I line them up neatly beside Clover's cast-offs. Uh, Tiger says this is available for the PlayStation. No, it's only available for the Switch at the moment, my friend. Uh, Switch and Steam for PC. Obviously, the, speed, uh, the Steam version uh, has got their um, uncensored patch that you can apply and get, you know, all the naughties, naughty naughties. But the Switch versions is as good as we're going to get for us console gamers. I sigh and I slide off my shoes. I line them up neatly besides Clover's cast-offs. I think we already heard that, sorry. Clover has too many shoes. Sometimes I wonder if she's trying to stockpile them least the apocalypse arrives, taking all the shoe stores with its all its weight. Surely there are better things she could spend her money on. Not that it's any of my business. I'm not her mother. Arr. I really want a shower, but I should probably dump my bags in the room first. I climb the stairs with my slow, sluggish legs and open my bedroom door. The lights... We did it again. The lights are already on and... Sorry guys, I keep pushing the skip button. Oh wow. Okay, so straight off the bat, I'm guessing this is, is this Clover, and she has got some epic underboob. So she's just walking around the house with underboob. Underboob is rare boob. 
for those who want to know, under Booba, we'll call it Booba. Under Booba is rare Booba. You get a lot of side boob with these guys. Like, you go down the streets and you see a lot of girls with a side boob hanging out. Top boob, which is just a cleavage. But under boob, very rare boob. If you ever see under boob guys, stop and glance at it because it's rare. It's rare. <laughs> Jericho goes, yummy, 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 put it in my tummy. You're not going to eat them, Jericho, you sicko. Hi, honey, welcome home, Clover. I look at my best friend of ton, uh, some 10 years and narrowed eyes. There are numerous ways you could describe the current expression of my face. Bored, indifferent, apathetic, but excited is not one of them. Maybe this was Clover once, but Clover can't always have her own way. Even if she's incredibly pushy, pushy enough to invite herself into my room when I'm out, sit on the edge of my bed and balance one of the VS4 controllers, I think it's supposed to be PS4, VS4 controllers on the sizable shelf of her breasts. Ha <laughs> ha, sizable shelf of her breasts. She's got some decent sized boobies, doesn't she? I like her a lot. While wearing one of those ridiculous outfits she likes so much. I don't know what you're playing at, but you should uh, put your VS4 controller away. Those things are expensive. <laughs> What's with the hee hee hee? Why is she sticking her tongue out like that? It's nice to see you too, Nico. Okay, so who's Clover, who's Clover and who's Nico? I have no idea now. I'm a bit confused. I'm, I'm pretty sure this redhead with underboot is Clover. For the record, Nico isn't the, uh, my real name. It's Seo. Clover isn't Clover's real name either. She's actually called Chica. Nico and Clover are just internet handles. I first met Clover on an internet RP board 10 years ago. We were both in our first years of middle school. No, not that we wanted uh, to the same schools. We spoke online for years before our relationship transitioned into our real world. So we can call we want each other on our online names when we're offline like this. It might sound a little complicated, but it's not. I just wish. When I was 12, I had the uh, foresight to call myself something a little less embarrassing than Nico Himi, but it's called Nico. It's a cup and answer. Whatever. Can you please put my controller down? So you see this totally sexy girl posing on your bed and you can say it's put the controller down. What else do you want me to say? It's just not a very interesting response at all. I'm not an interesting person. Okay, yep, Clover is the one with the red hair and underboot. Well, you might be right about that. Seriously, what's the point in all this? The soundtrack in the background sounds like a vintage porno, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. You can picture it now, guys. A gesture towards Clover. Or, to be more precise, her breasts. Oh, nothing. I just thought I might be a, I'm able to fire you up a bit. You're looking so down lately. Because I, unlike you, still have to go to work. Don't you, say, don't you like your job? Having a conversation with Clover while she's posing in my bed, controller popped up on her breasts. It's kind of surreal. Man, a naked girl with booba and a controller between them is... Yeah, it's a pretty good sight. At least it would be if I wasn't so uh, astonished by her antics. Clover does stuff like this all the time. Of course, I don't like my job. I have to get out of bed early, work long hours, and worst of all, I'm expected to interact with other people. Hehe. <laughs> well, you've never exactly been, to been too good with all that. It's a huge pain. Totally was was sorry. T today was the worst. It was more or less annoying than the woman in the Shinto shrine who filled her laptop city with rice. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> it was more stars. Sorry, standard. Horny teenage boy, family PC, PC, too much porn, you know. Ah, uh, malware, hey? Lots of it. And pop ups? Hmm. Did you see any, any nice boobs? I saw a lot of boobs. They all start to blend together after a while. No, they don't. No, they don't. So, what do you think about mine? Are they better or worse? Okay, so we got a choice, guys. If you watch me live right now, number one, your boobs are the best boobs they are. Or two, are you seriously asking me this question? One or two, guys. First in, first gets it. All you have to do is put a one or two, and the first in my live chat right now gets to choose this interactive stream we're doing right now. Once again, this game is brought to me by Gamazumi, gamazumi.com. You're watching me live right now on my Twitch channel, of course. But if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, please guys, if you like Booba, you like loot games, or you just like games in general, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all. Uh, Jericho gets in with one. Your boobs are the best boobs there are. Does she really need to ask? 
Obviously, your boobs are better. Yay, I knew we were a woman of uh, discerning taste, Nico. Now, if that's all, I'm going to have a shower. Ah, uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Yeah, she could definitely just... Video game chick with underboob is pretty good. She's got actually a controller, a controller uh, image on her, her shirt. You can see like the, the plus or the, the D-pad and the four buttons. Man, I, I'd play that any day. <laughs> Clover finally sets the controller down. She sits on the edge of my bed looking at me expectantly. I sigh. What is it, Clover? The better not to be something stupid. I promise it isn't. You didn't jam the toaster again, did you? No way. Or clog the toilet. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago. It happened last Tuesday. Details, details. Uh, she clears her throat. I managed to get out a new tennis. Oh, you did? Hmm, this girl caught up early and asked if you had a spare room we still available. I said it was. And she asked if we could come by today to scope the place out. And I said, okay. And she just signed the warrant today? That's right, isn't that great? Clover and I used to live together with it, with another girl, but she moved a couple of months ago. She related to Hokkaido, uh, something related to her job, and the spare room has been empty ever since. We've been trying to shift it for a while, but haven't had too much luck. Having another tenant is more than welcome. I don't like people, but I do like money, and I don't want them to turn their nose up at an extra income. The house doesn't pay for itself. Neither does, the, neither does the electricity bill, which is going to be through the roof this summer, thanks to Clover's unhealthy fixation with video games. Even so, I'm a little skeptical about the arrangement. Don't you think that seems kind of fast? You think? Hmm, you'd expect her to think about this a bit first. Plus, I want to meet her before she signed anything. But you never want to meet anyone, Nico. I know, but it would be nice to look at her face at least I want to know what kind of person we're leading into our house. Don't worry about it. I'm a great judge of character. Sure you are. I am. I can tell you right away she's a really great girl to live with. She was very uh, energetic. I don't like energetic people. You like me? I put up with you. It's different. Oh, Nico. Don't be so cold. You know each other forever. And that's why your company is uh, tolerable. I don't know if I can cope with another one like you. Well, we just have to see how it turns out. You'll be able to find out soon enough. What do you mean? She's going to move in tomorrow. Tomorrow? Now, that's really fast. Are you sure this girl doesn't uh, have a criminal record? She didn't look like she was the type to commit theft or arson, did she? Well, it's always hard to tell, of course. Of course. But she was, like, super cute. You wouldn't believe how cute she was. Do you think cute people can be com uh, can't commit crimes? It's unlikely, I mean. She really is adorable. I'm sure you understand when you see her, Nico. I hope so. For your sake, Clover, I hope so. If she's like convicted serial killer into your house, I'm going to be very, very angry with you, with her. Okay, we're in a bit of a, a bit of a shower action going on, but she left her clothes on, which is a bit of a weird thing to do. If you get into the shower, guys, um, you know, you, you take your clothes off. We'll just uh, rest up a bit so people can have a look at a nice picture. Hope you guys are enjoying the live stream right now. Hey, Samurai. Welcome, buddy. Didn't see you there. Sorry. <laughs> I was too busy reading. Uh, Sakura Gamer. It's a visual novel. A lewd visual novel. Brought to me today by Gamazumi, of course. Ah, that feels good. I saw a slough as a water cascaded over my body. I was so tired after work, I didn't change out of my clothes. I didn't even take off my glasses. I call into Clover, my glasses aren't a charm point, whatever that meant. She plays with my erotic games, especially the elementary school teacher. I was surprised when she told me her lifelong dream was working with children. Fortunately, she doesn't dress in skin tight latex and she's around the, uh, under, when she's around those under 12 years of age. And so the moral fiber of Japan's children continues to be protected. Something, something like that. I'm so sleepy. He's not really thinking straight. Then again, when I have, have I done that? Ah, I nuzzle my cheek against the slow, steady stream of warm water. I must look like such a slob, collapsed in the bath, my bottom of the shower, still in my panties. At least, 
I had to force her to take off my shirt. No, you didn't, girl. I might be lazy, but I'm not that lazy. Yes, you are. You're damn lazy. Take it off. <laughs> we need to have a poll, guys. Who wants, who wants, um, her to, who wants Nico to take her clothes off? I don't know if that's going to work, but we can have a poll. Type in the letter 7 if you want her to take her off. Let's see how many sandwiches we can get in the live stream right now. Hmm, the water really is nice. It cares my skin softly. My limbs don't ache as much as they did before. My limbs always ache after a busy day at work. Ah, uh, one, two, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine! Nine sevens so far. Keep them coming, guys. I know there's more people at the moment watching. I've got more people than nine people watching. So if you're watching live, type in, type in seven if you want her to get a close up. I know it's not going to happen, but come on. Uh, that's what happens when you have to take a, a, the train anywhere. Sandwich between businessmen and women while you're in the carriage rocks back and forth. Seriously, why is Japan so busy? T Tokyo is the worst. I don't like people at the best of times. I especially don't like them when I'm crammed against one and the other. Their elbows and knees digging into me. At least the shower knows how to treat a girl right. Oh, I yawn, Italy rubbing shampoo into my hair. I think this might be Clovis shampoo, actually. Okay, 12 sevens. That's pretty good, guys. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, which it's definitely not. But thank you for uh, getting into my live poll. It smells like cinnamon. A bit too strong for my liking. I prefer a subtitle aromas, like barely, barley tea and vanilla. But Clover says they're incredibly boring. She's called me boring ever since we first started talking in line. It's a wonder why we're even friends. It's a wonder I have any friends at all, being so gloomy. But I wasn't always like this. Part of me is because I work. Having a job this uh, does this to people. I think, inevitably, especially when you're a fence, uh, freelancer like me, and your house is all over the place. Sometimes I get called out of emergency repairs in the early hours of the morning. And to think, I only started damping with my computers because of Clover. It was back when we both had kids, we both were kids, and we were in different schools in different parts of Japan. Clover was born in the north and the Turukan region, and I was born in Shikuko. We all called the community for, the K uh, for our keyboards. She decided we should make a game. We tossed a few ideas back and forth, mostly rip-offs of the Penetru Met fantasy series, and I started studying Java and C++ in, this, in my spare time. I built up quite a bank of knowledge of the years, knowledge, but it was uh, all and for nothing. Clover and I never found the time to work on the game. I was too busy with school, then college, and now I have a job. I thought knowingly a little bit about programming might come in handy as a computer repair technician, but it's uh, but this is all wishful thinking. My career is based around telling people to turn their appliances off and on again. That's all. I have all these skills at my disposal and never used any of them. I never had the chance. Now I'm worried that the chance will never come. Honestly, I pout, pinching a strand of uh, damp hair between my fingers. What was the point of all that? With my dreams of making a real video game like an RPG, dungeon crawlers and roguelikes I loved so much as a child? Be for nothing? I don't even have the time to play video games nowadays. I'm too busy working. That's what being an adult is like, I guess. Even... Even if it sucks, at least I can take tomorrow off. I need to be around the house so we can welcome our tenant, the new girl. What was her name again? I don't think Clover mentioned it. I bet Clover doesn't even know. That would be like so like her. It's nothing else. Tomorrow should be an interesting at least. Hey Nico. Hmm. Get up, sleepyhead. Nah. Ugh. You don't call yourself Nico for nothing. Uh, I moan, nuzzling my head into my pillow. I can't feel the sunlight dancing across my skin. It runs through my hair. Nice, soft, warm. Why should I wake up when it feels so cozy? I hardly ever get to sleep in. Thanks to my job, my sleep schedule is all messed up. I snatch quick cat, uh, cap nets whenever I can fit them in. Because my stints are into... Don't even know what that kitsch gogu or a shuku to help another useful businessman using the CD drive as a drink holder, but that's all I get. Sadly, Clover isn't having any of it. She can be uh, pretty sensitive when she wants. Wake up, Nico! Nah! I hiss, shying away from the fingers, and close my eyelids a little tighter than before. She isn't to be deterred. Wake up! Wake up! 
Wake up. Her fingers uh, fly over my body, then poke me a part of my hollows of my armpits and the soles of my feet until, all right, fine, I'm up, I'm up. I push back to my blankets and pull myself into the sitting position. Oh, she's looking pretty tidy, isn't she? We should take off the hoodie, though. Nice red bar, holding in that nice subtile booba. I blink barely, rubbing into my eyes with one hand and... Ah! Did I fall asleep wearing my glasses? You should be more careful, you know. You should scratch, uh, you should scratch your lenses. I didn't realize you had red eyes. Please, you're the last person who should be lecturing me about being careful. Boo! Clover pounce. I want to see more of Clover. Uh, I do work at the elementary school, you know. I'm surprisingly reliable. All my students call me Big Sis, and they always tell me how much they love me. Yeah, right. Don't you yell here at me. It's true. Whatever. I yawn again, press my hand against my mouth. My hair is still disheveled. My hair is always disheveled. Sleepy princess, let me fix that for you. Ha! Ah, Clover sits down on the edge of my bed and brushes my hair strays, strands of, uh, off my hair out of my mouth. My hair is damp with my own drool, but Clover does wince instead. She smiles and nervously and pats my on the head. Is that what we do with your students? Sometimes. Sorry guys, I just got a bug flying on my head. What the hell is that? Okay, sometimes if they uh, fall over and hurt themselves. I'm not a kid. I know you're not. Not with those, not with those boobs. Clover. But girls are developing quickly and quickly all the time. I saw a TV show about sometimes when you process meat. I really don't care. You don't care about much. You're so grumpy. Clover runs her fingers through my hair. She's smiling. Just like a kitty cat. There, there. If you keep that up, I'll bite you. Now, now, I know you won't do that, my good little kitty. Don't call me that. But how can I resist when you're my name's Nico? It was a bad decision. I think it suits you perfectly. <laughs> she continues to pat my head, running her fingers through my white curls. Okay, one or two guys, if you're watching me live right now, we've got a multiple choice. One or two. Number one. It feels nice. Or number two, actually, it's annoying. One or two, first in, first gets it. Once again, this game is being provided to me today by Gamazumi, gamazumi.com. Check them out, guys. I do appreciate you all. Once again, if you're watching me live and you haven't done so already, please drop me a follow on Twitch. But if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel as a video replay or video on demand, whatever you want to call it, or just a YouTube video, like my video, share my video with your friends and family and everyone else you can, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you in advance. You're always appreciated. Okay, propane's in number one. It feels nice. I don't want to encourage her, but her hand is kind of warm. The feeling of her palm on top of my head is pretty nice. It's making me drift off again. My eyelashes flutter. All of a sudden, I feel so sleepy. No, that's no good. I can't even uh, let Clover see me like a delicate, dispensive state. It would ruin my reputation. What of a little reputation I have? All right, that's enough of that. I bet Clover's hand away and slide out of my bed. With a yawn, I stretch my arms into my hair. My joints click. Okay, she's looking pretty fine in her little arm. Uh, her red lingerie, doesn't she? She's yeah, she's skipping right out where Clover's got the underboob gone and Clover needs to really just show some more. She, we haven't seen too much of her so far. Nico's really getting it going for us. Let me know, guys. Well, who's your favourite, Clover or um, Nico? Let me know. I'm liking Clover and I like Nico. I kind of like them both. But if I'm going to choose one, I'm going to have to choose... I'm going to go with Clover. I think I reckon she's got something coming up. I reckon she's got something going to have to come. She's a bit of a, she's a video gamer and she's a bit of a, she's a bit out there. She's going to have to show us something eventually. But if she doesn't, then yeah. Uh, why are you up so early, Clover? Isn't it obvious? Clover claps her hands together. She is so excited. She's particularly bouncing up and down in the spot. Her boobs bounce with her. Wow. 
I'm not entirely sure if she's wearing a bra. If she is, I can't see it peeking out beneath that bottom of her shirt. <laughs> What's a what a ridiculous shirt it is. No, it's not. It's the best shirt ever. Clover is a ridiculous person. Full stop. I'm excited. Did Snowcool cool entertainment push up a new patch of the unblock? No, um, oh, I don't think they did. Even if they did, I would, it wouldn't matter. Clover is super stubborn, and she only ever plays the one character out of the whole roster. And that she wondered why people on the internet forum poke fun at her and call her an Enzo man. I'm excited about our new guest, of course. Ah, yes, of course, the serial killer. I don't think she's a serial killer, Nico. You can never be too sh careful. Once a guy asked me to repair his computer. When I was poking around in the hard drive trying to fix some uh, malignant errors, I happened to come across some rather interesting files. Hundreds and hundreds of not, not even even thousands of images of cute cartoon characters from the children's TV Emmys. Pretty honey being savagely by tentacles. It was uh, an enlightening experience. Not one of those really want to relive. relive. Do you know what time his esteemed guest is moving in? I'm not too sure. Um, she said around midday. Then we should have plenty of time to clean up this place. You want to clean up a house for the serial killer? I thought you said she wasn't the serial killer. I mean, I don't think she is, but like you said, we can never be too careful. Don't use words against me. Upon the tip of Clover's nose, she goes cross-eyed momentarily. Let's get something to eat first. Surprisingly enough, Clover is a pretty decent chef. Maybe it's because she likes creating things. She makes music in her spare time and pretty much sizable following of uh, Miko Miko dogs. Dogs. I think that's why she became an ele ele elementary school teacher. She's no artist. She likes making animals out of uh, used toilet tubes and playing with uh, finger paints and more, more than kids do. Sometimes when she comes home from work, she is pushed with an acrylic paint all over her fingers and cheeks. Even if she gets it in her hair. When I point it out, she just laughs. She also, the nurturing type I guess, she likes taking care of people. Nurturing, nurturing type of people. I wonder if that's why her friendship has, uh, has survived for so long. But before I got this job, I was too lazy to even comb my hair or brush my teeth in the mornings. If I was lucky and Clover was around because she took care of all the boring stuff for me. Sometimes she didn't even help me dress. I think she enjoys it. It makes me feel wanted. And when it comes to the meal time, I really do want Clover around. The food she prepares is always delicious. Today, breakfast is no exception. Rice porridge, cinnamon toast and apricot jam, and a side of banana slices. It's super good. Like insanely. Do you like it? I do. It's sweet enough for you to sit in your tongue. I like sweet food a lot. Some people can't get enough in the mornings without a cup of coffee, but I'm the opposite. My tongue's pretty delicate and I can stand bitter flavors. If I could, I'd live on a diet of cake, ice cream, and cinnamon toast. Is that just sweet enough, I think? Great, then eat it all up. If you're, if you're a good girl, you need to grow big and strong. Clover's pretty nice. But I don't know what she's a cuddles, uh, when she cuddles me like this. I know that sounds hypocritical since she does most of the cooking and the housework, but I do appreciate being spoken down to. I'm not one of the I'm not one of her students. Ah, uh, you're even naughtier than some of my students. You're wearing the same clothes you did yesterday. <laughs> you're wearing the same clothes you did yesterday too. I was about to say that. Yes, but I have a shower with them last night, unlike you. What? Ah, uh, what will you do if a new tenant arrives and you're dressed like that? Your hair's all messy too, and you haven't even brushed your teeth. You said she was coming at midday. Plans have changed. Plans can change. Shouldn't, uh, sh they shouldn't if people say they're going to do something at a certain time. They should do something at a time. But do, uh, don't do it at all. Wow, you sound unusually heated. It's not unusual. People never think about how much they can not give inconvenience others. Well, maybe they should, it, uh, sorry, let's start again. Getting a little bit tongue twisted now, guys, so I do apologize. Well, maybe they should if they want to make their life a lot easier. I've always been a sticker for keeping a schedule. But I get uh, even worse after I get this job. Got this job. I can't count on the number of times clients have flaked out on me. But Clover just smiles. You're so picky, Nico. You'd be picky too if you had to work my job. 
if that's what you're always uh, frowning. No, my face just is a lot. Man, I might have to go and get a drink in a second. No, my face just does it from, it's on its own. Oh dear, and after I made your favorite rice pudding, rice porridge too. It will take more than that to right wrongs in this world. Don't even expect miracles. I'm a good cook, but I'm not that good. Ugh. I pounce, shoving a spoonful of rice porridge into my mouth. It's warm. Every bite is filled with love and affection. It really is. Sweet. I empty the bowl in seconds. My spoon rests on the bottom. Flick at her and there, bits of sticky rice porridge. Ah, I yawn, pressing a hand against my mouth. Tears beat into my eyes. Now I feel sleepy. Clover watches me, propping my head up against her hand. Her eyes are soft and gentle. You're really like a cat, Nico. What do you mean? Now you had something to eat, you just want to go back to sleep. I can't handle it. I can handle it. I have a busy life. Clover giggles. That's not all. You always doze around the sunshine. Your tongue's super sensitive. You get distracted to study dust particles, and you love drinking milk. You've been assessing me that much? Creepy! And you even say, nah, when your sides are your tickle. No, 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 I don't! Yes, you do! I do not! Oh, what's this, Nico? Are you trying to deny the truth? It's not the truth. You're mistaken. That's what corrupt politicians say. I'm not a politician! Really? I'm not. I'm just struggling computer repair woman who hates her job. <laughs> Clover face darkens. I don't trust her expression. If she's conducting something of an evil plan, do you persist in the win, uh, win claims that is when you? Oh, sorry, I'll start again. Do you persist if your wild claims that you do not, in fact, say nah when you get tickled? I persist. I persist. It's the truth. And I will stand up for all the good and just and the pure in this world. Okay, so she's. Basically fallen over and she's grabbed She's grabbed her booba and she's squeezing it in a funny shape. It looks like a muffin shape The bottom of her actually her, her tit looks like a muffin Ah I squeal Chloe was uh, standing by my side. I don't know what to uh, she's got her hand. She really is fast Her hands cut my breasts her fingers rub up them from the fabric of my shirt it's the strangest, most intimate message I've ever received. Ha! I knew it! Clover grins wickedly. She continues to be strangely punching my, uh, pinching my nipples until I can feel them harden beneath her wandering fingertips. You don't say now nah, when you get tickled. Nah! Aha! Uh -huh, I mean, ah! Uh, this is being tickled. This is just being groped. But it's making you purr, my cute little kitty. Ah! Uh, nah! Clover masses my breasts a little harder. I feel my face getting redder and redder. So does it. So how does it feel? Clover leans in a little closer, exhaling against my side of my ear. Should I keep going? Okay, we got a choice, guys. One or two. I want her to keep doing it. Or I want her to stop. One or two. First in, first gets it. Yep, Jericho straight in with one, Propane with one, Dark Wolf with everyone's got one. I had five ones. I wanted to keep doing it. Uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty embarrassing to admit, but for some reason it feels like kind of good. I'm not used to being touched like this. Uh, I it just, it's, it's not too bad. Oh, Nico, I love them if you're, if you're honest. Meow, <laughs> I guess there's a new girl. She's pretty, she's a... Uh, She's wearing skimpy pants. Ah, uh, excuse me, is this a bad time? My eyes snap open wide. So does Clovis. Standing in the entrance of our kitchen with a coy little smirk on her face is our new tenant. My mysterious third girl. But she isn't that mysterious. I know her. We've met before. Hey, that was quite the greeting. The new girl sits on the kitchen table with Clover and I, a coy, a coy smile on her face. We've already done the introductions to her name is Tisuku, but she prefers to go by her online handle Seductria Suki. Suki, or Suki for short. Suki calls a strand of a dark hair around her finger. Why does she look so smug? Oh, don't get the wrong idea. 
I'm not into a relationship with Nico. I was just uh, teasing her a little. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. I wouldn't mind if you two were a relationship. I have no problems with that at all, but I understand especially what you mean. Suki licks her lips slowly. She reminds me of a mysterious fox. I frown. What about the expression you do understand exactly? Whee! If I had a cute housemate like that, like you, I'd want her to run my hands all over my body too. Don't even think about it. Clover is one thing, but you're a complete stranger. If you try anything funny, I'll call the police. Oh, playing with playing favorites is uh, so no fair. You literally just got here. Sorry, but I'm the only one here who can play with Nico. And you shouldn't uh, push your luck either. Oh, I got scold. Speaking of which, you're supposed to arrive at midday. Why are you here so early? I don't have much stuff to bring with me, that's all. And why are you here in the morning, Tuck? The moving truck. So why are you here with the moving truck? What? You wanted to get a guy's truck to see you engaged? In a tender embrace with your friend? No, I don't want a group of strangers to see me in such a compromising position. One is more than enough. I don't think it's suspicious you don't have any more belongings though. You only brought one bag with you. That's because I'm a woman of mystery. Wanda? Is she trying to run away with some, run away from something? The law, perhaps? My serial killer theories are starting to sound less and less crazy in the passing second. But Suki seems a little too bubbly for a murderer. She was like the last time we met, too. Come on, Nico. Suki pounced. She reaches across the table, taking hold of my hand. Her finger, uh, fingernails are tipped with pink polish. She hands a self-proclaimed seductress. We're acting so cold, but I'm not really a real stranger. We only met a few weeks ago, remember? How could I not? You know it, Cheryl? Yeah, it's like destiny. If you're descended to the thorn by my side, then yes, you could say it was a destiny. In a sense. Boo, you have, you're so mean, Nico. You'd have the right to call me like that. Not after we offend the siren of lies to my grandma that made my life so difficult. But I couldn't help. It was funny. It, was, uh, it wasn't It uh, was very funny for me. Oh, come on. Don't be so huffy. I'm sure at least given an in interesting story to tell. I grip my teeth together. Why, why you? Uh, excuse me, guys. You might have some shared history, but I totally lost you. What exactly are you talking about? Just thinking about it making my blood boil, but I should try to calm down. Okay, so we got a grey, a black and white, a monography image of um, Nico in the shower, which is a nice touch. I have no idea why we're going back to it, but it's nice. Ah, she's imagining, that's why. Imagine sitting in the shower stall, picturing a slow, steady stream of water uh, enveloping my body. The water washes over my head, clinging to my hair, and sticks my shirt to my chest. I inhale, exhale, slowly. All right, I'm calm. Do you remember when I went to the shrine in Asku a while ago? Ah, you don't mean that shrine, do you? The very one. There's an interesting, interesting story behind this. Well, it's interesting when I look back. Sorry, guys, just scratch my eye. At the retrospect, it wasn't that interesting at the same at the time, though. It was a huge pain in my butt. Here's what happened. A couple of weeks ago, at the start of July, I got a call by an elderly woman who lived in the shrine of Asukui. I don't, I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I'm just going with it. The shrine itself was located in a heavily forest area, and I had to walk up about a million and one stairs to get to it, which was a chore in itself, especially when it was so hot. I can remember how discriminatingly muggy it was even then. There were so many bugs. I must have gotten stung by at least a dozen times. There's something about uh, my white skin that attracts insects. Anyway, I made it to the shrine and I met the old woman who had the complaint with her computer. She seemed like a sweet old dear. Grey hair, tied in a bun and glasses and a stone around her neck. She offered me a cup of green tea. And I was going on my way to, for, to see her, and some hammers of strawberry dafuku, I don't know what they are. They were pretty nice dafukus. The old woman told me the computer wasn't working, it didn't make any noise when she tried to turn it on. I thought some, uh, some wire had gotten loose or something, and maybe the machine was getting, wasn't getting any power. But it wasn't that simple. I knew it wasn't that simple in the matter of seconds. 
That's because of the smell. A horrible, ungodly smell funny of a shrine who was emitting from the PC. Curious, a little afraid, I opened the device and found a mass thick, sticky clay of mass stuck into the uh, fine interior workings of the computer. Some of the circuits were burnt out. Almost nothing was untouchable with the foul smelling screw-up smells. It was like inside of a burst fruit, but what kind of fruit would have such this thick, pulpy inwards? I asked the woman if she had any idea what this mess, what this mess with inside of her computer was, and apparently, being a devoted uh, Shinto practitioner and an ex-shrine maiden herself, she believed her computer should be a living soul and needed to be res respected. The old woman uh, had asked her granddaughter, who was a shrine maiden in the training, and how would she best honor the computer's soul whenever she was used it? And her granddaughter told her to put grains of rice in the C drive every time she turned it on. <laughs> the old woman had followed her granddaughter's advice diligently, never failing to give her computer a grain of rice whenever she woke up from the slumber. Until the pressure of the computer uh, compacted sticky rice inside the sticky uh, system broke it. This is a story even more bizarre than what I remember. Anyway. I left the shrine. I happened to meet the devil's shri uh, shrine maiden who had tricked her dear old grandmother. The shrine maiden was none other than the girl currently sitting in my, my kitchen. To Suki, Suki, or at least she prefers to be known as Seductor Suki. I can't even uh, better her name at this post, uh, piece of works. Selfish Suki. She made my job so much difficult that it needed to be. And she didn't even apologize. Instead, she laughed and asked me how it was, I was getting on. Like she didn't already know. She laughed right in my face. I never in the whole life met a more inclined and punched somebody in before. Now that I met Suki in person, the feeling still hasn't changed. A few days passed and the new girl seemed to be fitting in well. At least I think she is she is. It's been so busy with work I've been so busy work I haven't even really been able to check. But she hasn't tried to cram and cook rice into our electrical appliances, so I think we're good. I keep my eyes open, just to make sure. The last thing I want is my laptop to give up a ghost like her grandmother's PC. I need that for work. As for Clover, she doesn't need to work right now. School's out for the summer, and doesn't start up again until September. So, she's got ample of time to, time to lounge around the house playing video games. And, in regards to Suki, well... I'm not sure about her. She doesn't seem to have a job. She doesn't seem to have much stuff either. She hasn't gone back to her previous place of residence, the small shrine in Suzuki, I guess, to pick up any of her possessions. I wonder. Is she a shrine maiden in trading? Shouldn't it be her grandmother's shrine doing some training? I don't know how exactly shrine maidens train, but I've never even seen prospective shrine maidens training by lounging on the couch all hours of the day. Uh, painting their fingernails and listening to pop music. There's a lot of shrine maidens I don't know. Maybe they're uh, not traditional as they used to be. Suki certainly isn't. If she was, there's no way I'd make a uh, sudden announcement one evening. So I was thinking, you should all make a video game. I beg your pardon? Wow. That's a really great idea, Suki. Here is the chest. But I have some doubts. I've always had doubts. And my doubts have dabbled after coming home from work. Tired and exhausted to find Clover and Suki getting excited in the living room. What do you mean? Let's make a game. Where does this come from? It's quite simple, really. Is it now? It's quite getting dark outside, guys. I do apologize if the, um, the video is getting a little bit dark. Hopefully you can see the nice OLED screen shining in all its beauty and its glory. But it's actually getting dark here in Australia and Queensland at the moment, so I do apologise. It's uh, Thursday afternoon. I was talking to Clover and she said it was our childhood dream to work on a game together. Well, I guess so, but... Shoot! Clover, nasty glare. She takes a few steps backwards, smiling awkwardly. What was that about telling me this girl? Well, I've been and gone. Why well, stop my childhood dreams? It's free for all. What about the time uh, my pet rabbit, Moochie, died? Well, that time I wet myself in the elementary school. Or my three sizes. Who cares about privacy anyway? We're living in the digital era now. Everything gets posted on the internet and surveillance cameras keep track of your movements all the time. It's just like the, it's just like 1984. 
but without the rats, hopefully. I don't think any of us have our skills required to make a video game. Really, Clover? Really, Clover said that she all sorts of complicated coding and stuff. It's not that complicated, really. I haven't been keeping up to date with the basics anyway. It's uh, outdated knowledge by now. Yeah, but you seem smart girl, and I'm sure we can catch up. I don't have the time to catch up. Unlike you, I have a full-time job. Then quit. What? I stare at her. I can't just quit my job. How else will I pay for the house? I'll be fine. You're a freelancer. You make your own hours. I'm fully booked for the week. Cancel my appo cancel your appointments. For how uh, for how long? Indefinitely? Nah. We'll make a super quick game. It will take a couple of weeks. Three at the most. I can't think of a video game that takes such an immense amount of time. Uh, top manager and turn to make. Brushing up on the coding syntax alone will take. You're being too serious about this, Nico. I am. I don't really like being told too serious by a girl wearing stupid pair. Sorry, guys, I'm burping. Pardon me. Uh, wearing a stupid uh, pair of cat ear headphones, and I wear a cat head jacket. You don't need to make anything complex. You'll be fine if we're using a short, sweet, simple, narrative-focused game. Oh, you mean like a visual novel? Exactly. They're super quick to turn uh, turn to it. They're popular too. Here we are. We'll be rolling in money. Yeah, if everything goes according to plan, but be an unstoppable team. Like the wind. A tornado. A tsunami. Definitely. Super jumps up in the couch where pigtails bounce. I'm so excited, I want to start sketching the character design right now. Hold it! I grab over Suki's shoulder. I think we're starting to get a headache. Do vision novels even count as games? Do you really want to get into this? Why do you ask? That's dangerous can of worms to open. It's a conversation topic. People like argue about a lot of online. People always argue online. But they argue about this a lot. In my opinion, vision novels are games. Of sort. You can make choices. Not all the time. If you can't make choices in visual novels, it's a typical referred to as a kinetic novel. That doesn't change the basic fact that you're an interactive with an electronic medium to get the full experience though. I didn't realize you were so passionate about a visual novel, Clover. Well, you know, I can never refuse a cute face. So you're just in the adorable girls, are you? That's right, um, uh, uh, Clover's face flushes in his sleep. All the lewd scenes, of course, hee <laughs> hee At least she's honest about it. But I don't know that make her makes it any better. You better be careful or it might just be hard to reset your laptop. We shouldn't download too many illegal torrents from unsafe websites. I don't torrent my games. Nico, in fact, I heard my suggestions, only vile, evil people do that. Uh, you have ever wondered my pride of a gamer? Visual novels still aren't games. They are subtitles of games. It's a point and click adventure stories count on games. So should visual novels. Yes, but visual novels, you only click to advance the text. That's still interacting. interaction. Turning the pages of a book is technically interaction, but nobody would call that exciting or challenging gameplay. Maybe if a visual novel had gameplay sequence, you could consider it a game. But you know, the key word here is gameplay. Choices don't count. Especially not meaninglessly choices that are only after a few sentences of text for most. Just how lazy can you be? And since when you're all a do it I can't read that word, sorry. I'm cats of a game, Nico. Since I decided to learn C and Java to code actual video games involving things like characters, stats and maps and inventories. There's an added way of thinking. There's nothing wrong with the cute character design and branching narratives. But there's no flavor. Flavor? It's not interacting like uh, like the porridge of forgetting an acid of sugar. Sugar. Not everyone likes sugar as much as you do, Nico. That is just what, uh, sorry. They just don't know me, they're missing out on. See if I can turn some lights on guys, see if that makes any difference, it won't be a second. Turn up the right difference. Okay, do a little bit. Let's see if the other lights. How's that? Is it too yellow? I think it'll be better. As I said, it's getting dark here today. It's getting, it's getting, getting into night time. Uh, they just don't know what they're missing out on. Anyway, 
Suki claps her hands together, signaling order. It doesn't matter whether visual novels are games or not, they're quick and relatively cheap to produce, and the scale is small enough. Because they're unestimated and de derative. Because they focus on the story, not extremist details, and they get in the way. Besides, visual novels are very popular at the moment. And you can't sell them and make the market. Make the market? Where do you want to go there? Why wouldn't I? It's, an, uh, it's a maker for indie developers who want to sell their music, art, and dojo dishes. Suki Eye Sparkles. Or video games. Visual novels aren't. Visual novels are included. <laughs> I bought my lower lip. I feel like a flogging dead horse here. I guess nobody cares about the opinion. Clover Suki have really decided on their plan to action before they've got here. I could always try to argue, but... Okay, we've got a choice, guys, for four, five choices. It would be utterly meaningless, and it wouldn't make any difference. Uh, and it's not like I have choices. They wouldn't listen to me anyway. Even thinking about it, this is a waste of time. So what do you reckon, guys? One, two, three, four, five. First in, first gets it. Propane says three. It's not like I have a choice. That one. It's not like I have a choice. Oh well. I sigh deeply. I guess this time is changing. Since they are even let this so called visual novel, the biggest online game distribution website there is, smokes. Smoke, maybe my opinion doesn't matter after all that much. Nobody even thinks my opinion matters. People are the worst. Okay, fine. If you two really want to make a game, sorry, visual novel, I make quotation marks with my fingers. Then you can just leave me out of it. Oh, but it'll be fun. Without you, it won't be fun without you, Nico. It sounds like a pain, and I still have my job to worry about. But you don't like your job? Can't you afford to take a break? Just a few weeks? Well, come on, Nico. Please, please, please! Clover stares at me for her big round eyes, her hands clasped on the front of her prayer. It's hard to say a wolf to that she's looking at me like that. My resolve crumbles slowly, piece by piece. Like an old fruit plant on the land back of the cardboard. That was our dream, wasn't it? It was our dream ever since we were little. Now, we are finally making make it happen. We can do the coding and writing and I can do the music and Sue can do the, the art. You can draw? A little. I posted tons of images in my uh, MixViv account. They seem to get a pretty positive reception. I thought you were supposed to be a shrine maiden. I was, but living in a shrine is so boring. There's too much to do, other than sweep lovers, sweep leaves, sorry, sweep leaves, so I started drawing digital art to take, in my busy, take me out busy. Like you too, it's always been a dream to work on a project with other people. I like uploading my art online, I always get into nice comments, but I would feel different, I think, if I could use my art to make something really special. It could be always work together, wouldn't it be wonderful? Don't, don't you think about it, Nico, don't you think it would be wonderful? But a visual novel? I don't know. I don't know if it's not what you're into, but I like writing stories, don't you? You always set me in a, a poems back when you were in the middle school. Don't remind me. When I was younger, I used to think I had a talent as a writer. When I was younger, I was delusional. I can't believe I even set those ridiculous over-the-top poems to Clover, of all people. Once you tell uh, Clover something, she doesn't forget it. Not ever. You might be cringe now, Nico, but... You have some serious talent as a writer. We might be able to write it all together. That's right. We can do our aim and release a time for summer magnet market. Is that the beginning of August? Yes, and it's the 18th of July now. Then we need to get a crack in two weeks or under. This, that's the deadline. And what are you planning to do with the game when it's finished it? Uh, game? I can't believe we already started calling this a visual novel a game. What happened to my moral code? My ethics? My credos? We're going to sell it, of course. I booked a table at the Mega Market in advance. Now, I just need to put a uh, product to sell there. My, my, aren't we prepared? I was supposed to be working on a calendar with a Donju Circle, but there was some drama and it was disbanded. Even though I booked the table with my own money, I did it. Sorry, guys, it's got this flying bug back again. It's trying to get on the camera. Um, what was it? Even though I put the table with my own money, as a bunch of art I did already, I guess it won't, uh, won't get used now. I was pretty upset about it, but 
I'm with you guys now. It seems like a shame to let the talents in my table go to waste. Don't you think? Well, I look between Suki and Clover. Suki smiling, bouncing back and forth on the walls of her feet. Clover stares at me, her preserved lips forming the words of please. But I seem like this now, I know. Okay, you've got choices guys, one, two or three. Number one is I can't disappoint Zuki. I don't want to let Clover down. I, I, I want to do this for my own, I'm sorry. I want to do this for my own sake. One, two or three. Watch me live, one, two or three. Okay, Samurai says two. I don't want to let Clover down. Clover's my best friend, not just that she's my only friend. I know Clover for 10 years, and all the same time, she never let me down. When my first, when my pet rabbit, Mushi, died, I was in the middle school. Clover was there, one who covered me. She was always there whenever I needed someone to vent or a shoulder to cry on, and she is right. Making the game together is always our, own, was our dream. Though our dream is to be downgraded somewhat for a gamer to a visual novel. I don't want to be split hairs. Not now. Not even when she looks so excited. Working on a small project might be fun, but we have such tight deadline. It's a lot to work on with, but... All right, fine, I'll do it. I knew you'd come to your right decision. Yay, Nico, I love you. So saying, the two girls embraced me in a warm, tight hug. Oh, meow. Oh, you know you like a cat too, how cute. I don't meow. She meows even when you rub her under the chin or pat her head. Oh, really? How interesting. Clover, don't. Don't give her any more and you now. He embraces much too warm by liking. And there are too many elbows jabbing me in the sides. But I don't pull away. Not now. How could I? I win for the first time in forever. It feels my dull, boring life might be going somewhere. Later that evening, I find myself standing outside Clover's bedroom. Clover always uh, barges into my room whenever she feels like she's really, uh, she really knocks. She's really knocking, she's not really the knocking kind of person. She wanted me to get going and change more times than I count. But at this point, I'm always gotten used to, almost. I, unlike Clover, I'm not a brute. I actually care about manners and that's why I knock on the door. I wouldn't want to walk in my best friend in a compromising position. That would be the height of a rudeness. Hey Clover, knock knock. Are you busy? Nah, it's fine. Clover voice calls out the slightly distorted through the door. Are you sure you're decent? As decent as ever be. Which coming from Clover isn't decent at all. She's the most shameless person I know. You can come in whenever, Nico. I don't have anything I want to hide. If you won't be respectable, you should try hide some things. I never cared about any of that. Believe me, I know. Just let yourself in. You don't need to be so formal. I'm trying to be polite manners. Don't cost anything. We don't need manners. Our friendship transcends silly society norms like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess she did grope my breast a few days ago. I push open the door and... Oh, wow. <laughs> well, I told you guys. She had to deliver eventually, didn't she? Good old Clover, bent over. Oh. I gotta see if I turn the lights off and see what makes a difference. There we go. How's that look? We're in the darkness now. And so you can kind of see how the Nintendo Switch OLED screen really is vibrant in the dark. Well, it's not completely dark, but... And that, and that, not, that vintage porn music in the background, and it's... Yeah, look at that. Wow. And on that note, guys, I'm going to have to end the stream right now. I'm going to end on a good note. If you watch me live right now on my Twitch channel, I really do appreciate you guys popping past. Uh, please feel free to hit that hard icon and drop me a follow if you haven't done so already. But if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel in a video replay and you like this image, if you like this image, guys, you have to give me a subscription. It's free. Just drop a subscription. Like this video. If you don't like this image, then you don't have to. Like my videos, you don't have to give me a subscription. But if you like this image, and who's saying, who, who out there doesn't like this image? This is outstanding. Okay, so the rules are, if you like this image, 
and you like this game. But if you like this image, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Show your support, guys. I really do appreciate you all. Come visit me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. That's Marbley, M-A-R-B-R-O-L-A-Y. I really, really do appreciate you all. Uh, big shout out to Gamerzumi for sending me this game, uh, Secure a Gamer. It has been released, so you can go and get it now from the Nintendo Switch. Um, and yeah, guys, I'd like to thank everyone for calling past the live stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you take care of yourselves and ones you love. Don't forget to feed your pets. And remember, guys, you're perfect just the way you are. Unless you want to change, then change. Just be you, do you, and you'll be fine. Until next time, guys. Once again, this has been Gamer Zoo Presents, Secure a Gamer. Thank you for watching. And bye for now. Give a double image. Before I go, guys, I'm going to quickly go to the gallery. See what image we are locked, eh? Okay, we, so we got a bit of underboob there from um, Clover. The shower. The groping scene made a make it made a boob look like a cupcake. Okay, and the last but not least, the best picture of all so far. Wowzers. Once again, guys, thank you for watching. Bye for now. Ta-ta.